You almost timed that to perfection, Dry. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Sunday Night Trucking. How are we doing? Can we have an AV check to get us going here? Looks like Dry tried to time a Manamana right at the start. <laughs> AV's working well. That sounds good. Sound as a pound. Blimey. Not at that phrase for a bit. What's that sound bite? Do you not know the Muppet song, Mana Mana? It's like, it's a classic. Currently flying 737 from Miami to Denver. Nice. Oh, hello, Drive Night. Welcome back. Uh, what game do you recommend more? Bus Simulator 18 or OMSI 2? <laughs> I hate questions like that. Because it always depends what you're looking for. What do you want me to tell you? One's better than the other? <laughs> you love the Sunday Sunday rig trucking song? You mean the Sunday night trucking song? Gotcha. Watching on your new 31 and a half inch monitor. They could have rounded up and given you, like, 32. Ryan Travis, 15 months, that beard is getting thicker. I kind of like it, not going to lie. I've actually thinned it out two or three times, Ryan. Just trying to get it to, like, equal length, you know? Because, like, the hairs grow at different lengths, so... Yeah. It's, it's bushing up, but I'm not going to let it get too bushy. I don't like bushy beards. Mr. Twist Pops walking back. Blimey, 15 months. MTA Slave, 14 months, AV5 out of 5, loaded clear. Connor J. Harper, 38 months, are you looking forward to the Apprentice final? PS, no spoilers, please. Yeah, please don't anybody post any spoilers, because I've not seen and won't be able to watch the final. If anybody does, I shall personally slam them with, an, with the band hammer. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Um, Omsi Yoda, thank you for 9 months. Yeehaw, truck and tab. <laughs> You're digging the beard, Stinger. Thank you. <laughs> um, Pyro Insano. Merry Christmas, Squirrel. Merry Christmas to you, Pyro. Thank you for the uh, donation. No, it's a TX leather wheel. Cold engineering. You going flying on a gross tutor tomorrow? Any tips? Nope. Any update on the Christmas schedule? <laughs> Read away. Kenny Moja. I squirrel me and the girlfriend Clara watching Sunday Night Trucking and she's in love with your new bid. <laughs> I bet she's sat there now going, Oh, what did you do that for? <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. Red Devil, welcome back. And before you ask what RL is, Rocket League, because somebody's bound to say what's RL. Did I do any flying, Bob? What do you mean? Okay, what? Eh? Hmm? Nope, Trajan is a map mod. Happy anniversary, How's the chair that you've been trying out? I've swapped it back for the GT Omega Racing chair. I'm trying this out again for a couple of days, and then I'm going to go back and until I make some kind of a decision on the whole thing what's TBD red devil it literally says at the bottom TBD equals to be decided literally says at the bottom of the screen <laughs> <laughs> thank you for 12 months red devil one year hype and a squirrely beard <laughs> oh my life Joint DK, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Joint. Right. I suppose you want to know what the Trejan map is. Uh, it's on a scale of 1 to 2, so... I don't know how long it's going to take to drive all this, but 1 to 2 scale is 
is, you know, quite significant. Um, at the moment, ignore Rotterdam because I've not done that yet. But this is what we've got at the moment. It's kind of like a long road with towns hanging off it. Essentially, it's like the Dutch map, basically. But I'm not an expert. So, uh, the devs in chat, if you want to ask questions. I think the number one question is, when does it come out? I w I've been told Christmas Eve. I've been told Christmas Eve is when it comes out. No stream on second Christmas Day. What do you mean? What's the second Christmas Day? Fantastic! Oh, fantastic! Connor J. Harper, seeing as next Sunday will be Sunday Night Trucking Christmas special, could we bring Chatnav back for a one off? Also, no Frosty Mod upload updated yet. Frosty Mod has been updated, but I chose not to use it tonight because I'm using this map and I wanted to see what the original textures were like rather than hiding them with ice and snow. I will probably Welcome use it back. next week. So yeah, I'm all these unpronounceable names here, which I'm not even going to bother with. Yeah, because I've no idea how to pronounce these. So Lol Saku may be in chat, maybe he can pronounce them for me. So there's little bits of road here and stuff, ignore that. It's work in progress, 0.005 beta or something. Uh, but we're going to take a look, see what we think. We're not going to do any truck config so that we can actually drive down the road and have a look at the map. So I've pre-prepared, Blue Peter style, a truck for us. Is it 0.004, Sven? I thought 005 was the new one because you did another build for me this afternoon. Why didn't you increment the version number? <laughs> Jules, you've been parking fine. <laughs> Lol. Happy days, welcome back. Um, Phantom Flays, uh, Flames. Uh, first Sunday night trucking in six months as I no longer have to work Sunday nights. Happy Christmas to everyone. Wow, you can enjoy Sunday night trucking once more. Thank you, Phantom Flames. How can you drive the Netherlands and not drive an orange truck? I did think about taking an orange DAF lol socky, but then I remembered I've been driving DAFs like very recently and I thought, let's not do a DAF. And then I thought, should we drive an orange truck? And I was like, nah. Because we drove a Twitch purple DAF. Like, I was like, in the end, I just went, let's just stay away from that. Mr. Heapster, the purple button keeps coming around too many times. Keep up the good work, Paul, and Merry Christmas, Andy. Thank you very much, Andy. Welcome back, to C2 Dan. So let's, let's pick up a job and um, go exploring the map, shall we? Let's see what it looks like. I don't know what to expect. It'll be fun having a look, though. Still no Frosty Mod. I pretty much just explained the reason for not using the Frosty Mod. But the Frosty Mod is out, and you can go and use it yourself. Dead by Daylight such a Christmassy game. It is if you wore a Santa hat when you're playing it. Right, let's take a jump. Any old jump down the road. Let's take some explosives down the road. Offer expires in two minutes. That means I've got about 90 seconds to get to it, probably. Let's see if we can get there. Lights, camera, and action. Well, I could cheat to get there, but I want to see if we can actually get there on time. Did I leave the traffic off? I'm wondering if the, if the traffic is turned off. We'll find out in a second. Didn't spot that light behind the bush. No truck config? Oh my life. It's almost like we're trying to see a map. <laughs> I like the light. Wait, why have they got little speed bump things though? What's all that about? I 
Netherlands love speed bumps, or even at traffic lights. Oh, who's that? That's not Jeff. Stood outside the gate. Oh boy. To stop you from speeding through green. It's an interesting solution. Um, okay. There's a lot of hills. Right then. Happy anniversary. Yeah, she needed a new profile, Connor. I had to get my own cheat mods out for this one. The job's gone. What a surprise. So I had two minutes to get to it. That wasn't enough. <laughs> uh, roof tiles. Welcome back, Nutter. Uh, please, Squirrel Master, what is the mod at the bottom of the screen? Hemel Root Advisor. Uh, Razorback Rob. Not gonna I'm going to pretend the weather on the screen is like what we have, not the miserable rain we have in Shropshire. Yep, it's not great weather right now. Oh, that's going all the way down the road. Um. That looks like fun. Let's take that. Uh, Sim not 94, Razor Might Rob and Crusaders PL. Welcome back, guys. Right, we have got bacon, that's not the bacon button, that's the bacon button. Let's have a look at our routing. Uh, I suppose we should take the long way around here, shouldn't we? So we can take a look at the map a bit. What if we go like that? So we head out of here, take a left. So we kind of circle out of here. That will take us on the A4. A12 out of there. And then there's the drop off point. So why don't we come in that way? And see what it looks like. 16 kilometers, yeah, but it's on a scale of 1 to 2 Euro 6, so that's like So normally, what is it? Euro Truck's normally on a scale of 1 to 20 This is 1 to 2, so if you multiply that by 10 That should roughly get you what that would be in Euro Truck, right? So that should be 160Ks in Euro Truck, is that right? Say beacon and bacon greens, there you go Dark Delta, Paul, I want to wish you, Mrs. Gould, Doyle, and your family a Merry Christmas and lots of joy. And of course, in 2019, I wish you much healthy prosperity. Glad to be part of the awesome community. Cheers, friends. Thank you, Dark Delta. Have I left the break on? Yeah, I did. Thank you for the delivery, sir. Hope you have a Merry Christmas as well. Happy 
We're pretty much going to be late on every delivery today. <laughs> Just so you're aware of that. Doesn't matter. Young Star, thank you, 27. Keep up the great work. Thank you, sir. Where are we going? Right. Stick on your new side panel feels loose after two weeks of use. What side panel? One of these. If you've only had it two weeks, send it back. I like the car parks, they're like... They look realistic, if you see what I mean. Wait, are all the roundabouts single lane. Getting a bit of frame chopping us here. Wait, why am I going that way? Uh-oh. I don't know why I went that way. We got this. I like that in real life too. Interesting. Oh good, we have traffic like down at the uh, street level. Yes, it's a mod, I dissimmer. Squirrel has a PPL IRL but messes up driving virtual truck, lol. <laughs> Cameron Jake, welcome back. Plenty of double lane roundabouts as well. Are we changing truck later? No. Why, why would we change truck later? We don't do that in Sunday Night Trucking. I don't like the detail. Dutch also have turbo roundabouts. What's that? Uh, Neil Angst, the devs are in chat as far as I'm aware. What on earth is all this on the ground? What's with those weird lines? Like piano keys? What's all that about? Right on here. Uh, Trejan is a mod, yeah. A turbo roundabout is a two lane roundabout which processes more traffic by assigning a lane to a direction. Right. If you approach a roundabout with three, with four exits, north, south, east, and west, and you only have two lanes, how do you assign it? How do you assign a lane to each exit? Because you've got three exits and two lanes. Like if you approach from the south, and you want to go west, north, or east, and you've only got two lanes, are you basically reusing the straight on to, for both lanes or something? You can't dedicate a lane to each one. Left lane for straight and left, right lane for right and straight. Well, we do that on all our roundabouts, Sven. We don't call them turbo, though. But that's the general rule of all of our roundabouts in the UK. Is if you want to go left, you get the left lane. If you want to go right, you get the right lane. If you want to go straight on, you can get in either lane. That's literally the highway code.
They're separated by small barriers. Hmm. Okay. So these piano key things, are they to warn you of like a ramp or something? I, I get what it is now, because the Netherlands is so flat, they love creating these little bumps everywhere to get the feeling of hills. Is that what it is? <laughs> They're like, it's too flat in our country, let's, let's do loads of little bumps. Oh, we like this. <laughs> oh, I like this road, that's pretty cool. Blimey, look at that. It's a Dutch mountain. <laughs> we have hills, one is 300 meters high. I've never seen in Euro Truck, I've never seen one of those like curved no go signs. Invisible wall of curvedness. Usually they just kind of block lanes off. I've never seen it do that. What are we waiting for? Interesting. I'm not sure why they gave way, but there you go. The traffic light time seems higher, Connor. Is that down to the scale of it, maybe? I don't know. Whoa, what's the train up there? Is that moving or is that like a stationary thing? Is that like a static object? It looks it to me. It's not moving. Yeah, but what I mean, Sven, is like, does it move at all or is it literally you're going to see it every time you come past? Oh boy, I need to move lane. What I don't understand about the AI, and I'll never, I, I don't think I'll ever understand the AI in this game, but what I don't understand is, if you want to change lane, they're aggressive and they won't let you change lane, but if you're at a traffic light, where they have right of way, they let you go. It's just... Whoa, this is nice. Look at this. This is pretty red. PC Tech has sub-bombed. Zaki Zalbag, Hate uh, Harders, Bad Egg, and Pepper494. Guys, you've just been gifted a sub by PC Tech. Thank you very much, PC Tech. Five sub-bomb. Very generous. I'm trying to look as much soon as I can whilst not crashing. Sorry. How am I, Zaki? I'm not bad, sir. Does anybody recognize any of this, by the way? Like, 
in real life recognize it. I didn't think that actually did anything, Sven. That never used to actually change the traffic. We can try it, but it used to require a mod to change traffic density. Unless they change that, we'll see. You live there and it looks very good. Nice. That's cheating. Why is that cheating making it harder for myself? That's like the, the, the definition of not cheating. <laughs> It's making it harder. <laughs> uh, Mr. Sasha Shade, thank you for the bit, sir. And the hashtag charity, charity, and I love this game. Thank you very much, sir. So if we can get a cruise on this. Why is my cruise? Oh, there we go. Wrong button. Stop uncheating your game. <laughs> Should probably put the map on so I can see where we have to turn off. And also see where we are on the A12. Is this like, this on the right here, is this some kind of drainage area, or is this... What, what is that? It's a ditch, so is the ditch deliberately man-made there so that the water collects there rather than on the track and the road? Mr. Kevin, thank you for gifting us up to Fox Trucking. Welcome back, Fox. If they don't do it, everything floods. So driving one kilometers will take two minutes of this mod. I haven't done the maths, to be honest. I think Sven can probably give you the maths. Uh, we meant to turn off there. I think we are. Konnichiwa, squirrel -san. Uh, Captain Flint. Scumbag Epic Games. All this time I have not bought Subnautica because I just have no time for it. Now they give it away for free. I could not resist. Oh well, even less time for trucking. It's a fantastic game. But you will hate the warpers. The beard adds you years, Olympus. Thank you. I was trying to look over 21, so that worked. I like the building detail. Sunk many ounces of Subnautica, yeah. It's it's a cracking game, really polished. Subnautica is like one of the few games you can put your hand to and say, that is an example of how like early access kickstarting should be done. Like that's it right there. That's how it should be done. And then you point to the forest or identity and you go, and that's how you don't do it. <laughs> Actually, that's not fair for the forest so much now. There are worse. Yeah, Subnautica's expansion will be really nice, Henry. What happened to Long Dark Floaty? So episode 1 and 2 remastered comes out next week. Episode 3 comes out uh, early 2019, I believe. 
There's a lot of flooding on the left. Yeah, because I'll tell you what it is, Floaty. If you read the blog, like there's there's lots of reasons why they did that with Long Dark, but essentially the main reason is that they started on episode three, and they got like new animators and stuff, um, and people who could do it properly, and then when that studio shut down a few months ago, um, which one was it? They basically hired some of those guys from the studio and got like really good people in. Um, and the bot, the problem was Telltale, that was it. And the problem was, um, they were now producing episode three, which was like at a completely different level to what they'd done in episode one and two in terms of animation and story and like voiceover acting and all that kind of thing. So they just went, you know what? We're going to have to go back and remaster one and two because three is now just on a different level. So that's what they did. Hence why you get one and two remasters next week and then episode three comes out next year. Long Dark is, um, you can play Long Dark in two ways, story mode or sandbox survival. Um, sandbox survival it is, it can be very difficult if you crank up the difficulty. And the story mode is like an ongoing thing that explains how the world got into that state. I have to say, I like the detail here. This is really nice. Uh, Devil Dude, thank you for the sub bombs there. Richard V. Mid, uh, Madness FM, Levi. Tom Tangy and Flug, you've all been gifted a sub by Devil Dude. Thank you, Devil Dude. It's really kind, so thank you. Yeah, I don't really want to play episode one. Like, what I'm going to do, I think, likes technology, is when they announce episode three release date, I'll play one and two, like, just before it, so that we can play one, two, then three, rather than... Because what I don't want to do is do one and two and then sit back and wait for three again, because that's where I'm at right now. That's a lot of traffic and a lot... Of Why are there so many police cars? There's like four cops in a row, and then a fifth one. And then a sixth one, and then a seventh one. <laughs> what is that about? Has it just had a bank robbery? <laughs> The DirectX 9 alias in on that bridge. That was great. Donut shop, is that what it is? They got a two for one at the donut shop. Check when we're going straight on. The line markings are a bit weird. Why do they have two solid white lines with gaps in between? Like, why not? Why, what's the idea of the gaps? Does that mean you can overtake or something? <laughs> Safe paint. <laughs> That would actually be a good logical reason. Solid line means an overtaking, yes, I know that, but what does the gaps mean? Does that mean you can? Oh no, look at the scumbaggery here. The scumbaggery is real. Let's see what we can do. Scotty, wonderful. Well, as you didn't see my resub, here's my cheers and gift sub bomb. I'm sorry, Scotty. I apologize, sir, if I didn't see your resub. Thank you for the bits. Thank you. The gaps mean it's an 80 road. 
don't why don't I just put 80 on the road then oh my god that thing turns Side line overtaking, broken line overtaking, green line in the middle, 100k instead of 80. I've never known speed limits to be tied to the colour of paint. That's interesting. Most people just put signs up. How much is that going to turn in, I wonder? Not enough by like a bit, but we'll straighten it up. Do other countries do that with the paint? Sub bomb. Welcome back. How many was that? I've never seen that before. Welcome to the nut house. Dude. Was that one hundred subs? Oh my god. Chat is broken. <laughs> what? I'm going to have to scroll back. <laughs> Flippin' heck. Welcome to the nut house. Was that? Okay, that's, that's just officially broken everything. Was that Scotty? Dude, my life. Scotty, wonderful. I see where you get your name from. What can I say? I just saw my chat just go... <laughs> it was like somebody dropped an atomic bomb on the chat. <laughs> wow, dude. I'm trying to... Sc I'm still scrolling. There it is. Do you know what, Scotty? Your message said something like, as you didn't see my resub, here's my cheers and my gift sub bomb. And I was like, okay, I missed your resub. I've got your cheer. I didn't see your sub bomb either. So I thought, I'll just keep quiet for a second. And the next thing, kaboom. Scotty, my man, I, I don't know what to say. You're the first person to ever gift a hundred subs. That is, I have no words. That's insane. That's insanely generous. Thank you so much. Massive GG's in chat for Scotty. I am not going to read 100 names. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and the sub notifier is going to be going for like the next 30 minutes or something. Because that was a sub nuke. That really was. That that nuked the chat. That nuked my panel. It's incredibly generous and you just made a lot of people happy, Scotty. Thank you very, very much, sir. Thank you. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, it's going to be like, welcome to the night house for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> welcome to the nut house. Late. I'm late. I'm seven minutes late, apparently. Is that a 500 pennies to the squirrel man? Nah. Twitch will take its cut. It will have its pound of flesh. <laughs> That's what job offers have got. Welcome to the See if we can carry on going east. There's one. Concrete pipes. Peanut butter. Let's do concrete pipes. That sounds fun. There's a lot of new acorns in chat now, thanks to Mr. Scotty. New emote slot ones, I doubt it. I'm still trying to, like, figure out how to get new emotes done. 
for Mr. Whiteland. It's like I say, um... Welcome back, Mata. Jeez, actually, Whiteland, you say that. Uh, we're 66 points away from yet another emote. Nope, we're 60... No, wait a sec. Mental math, 65. 65 points away from a new emote slot. Thanks to that massive gift. Leopard egg. That's unreal. No words for that. Welcome. Scotty, wonderful. I said last month that I would be back this month with a Christmas gift to everyone on the channel. You can't say I didn't warn you. And hope that everyone enjoys a month of sub. Everyone continue to sub to Squirrel. He's a great streamer. Oh, man. You're, you're too kind, Scotty. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And Whiteland has gifted a sub to checking. Mr. Coops does on four years. And Jump In for Fred. One has just subbed. Thank you, Jump In for Fred. It's going to get lost in all the other messages. I bet that broke something, Dre. <laughs> Mr. Davor, thank you for 16 months. That's just, just insanely generous. It is fantastic. Oh, fantastic. It is, Kirby, thank you. Wait, I thought that was... Welcome to the nut house. Oh boy, oversteering. <laughs> there we go. Like a Eventually. Okay, let's have a look at the routing. Private Hudson, welcome back. Connor was wondering, how does Twitch pick the people to gift the subs to? Do they pick the most active people in chat? I have no idea, Connor. It's not published how that works. You, you just, you, you gift subs and it just randomly picks people in chat. No idea how. He keeps repeating the name Blantas. <laughs> Dre, it broke something. <laughs> Welcome back, Nutter. Um, let's take a little reroute here. Uh, there's this whole half that we've not been to. What we could do is perhaps go that way and then. Can we go this way somehow? The nut house. Maybe like that way. Through there. Okay, that's that's pretty crazy. <laughs> What's broken? I don't know. You see, it keeps saying "Welcome to Nuthouse Blantas" on screen, Dre. That's broken, dude. Look on screen. <laughs> it, that hundred sub bomb was totally broken. Things. <laughs> Welcome to the nut house. Oh, That one's not Blantas. I sus suspected race condition, Dre. Uh, let's go this way. <laughs> and that way. Welcome to the nut Can I go across? House. There we go. That's better. Let's do that and then let it root us back this way. Otherwise, it'll get all confused. Uh, you want to see the map? Yeah, this is where we started. Den Haag. We kind of came out of there. Welcome now we're in this cluster. We're going to carry on down the A12. Uh, and then when we get here, we're going to have to reroute a little bit. Stuff going on there. Welcome to the nut house. Blimey. That's crazy. We're going to get there very, very late. It's a stupid issue with Twitch responding slowly again. Gotcha. Twitch, please fix with your Amazon money. Welcome back. What do you mean, Presley, this history? Scotty, wonderful. Uh, now, Squirrel, we'll have to talk one day. Sorry for breaking your chat. 
Thanks very much, dude. Once again, I have no other words to say, but thank you. No, it's one to two, Jamie, not one to one. PC Kelly Gaming. Uh, nothing to see here. Move along, move along. Welcome to the nut house. It's just a large pipe. Who's subbing so much? Um, Scotty dropped a hundred subs on the channel. It's going to be playing for a while. on the map um it's very detailed it's very nice there's a lot of foliage a lot of speed bumps <laughs> it's nice do you think it's gonna like carry on though dry or just loop infinitely something like that flint test maybe plus tax as well We're playing ETS2 multiplayer next Saturday. To the nut house. All right, where are we going? Welcome to the nut house. <laughs> that is just the craziest sub bomb. Mr. Sutherland. Welcome to the Nut House. It's fixed itself, I don't know. I think Dre was going to do something to it. 